for the guys that are new to Digital Marketers Toolbox or never seen it before, um, in our members area, members.networkempireframework.com, um, if you want the stackable system, you can come in, scroll down, and follow our members that have subscribed. They can get access to all the training and all our plugins. And over here, you guys can see the stackable framework. All you got to do is click on this. It'll open it up, and you'll see the questions with our process that we follow, which is repeatable. It's 12 steps. And as we go through our build, we're just thinking about these things, getting the information, compiling. And that's, that's basically what we're doing. So it's not hard and it's not complex. So I'm just going to press pause here, quickly log in, and then we're going to get stuck in and build out our lawyer's di directory. So at digitalmarketstoolbox.app, uh, if you want to uh, get Digital Marketers Toolbox, you can go to network empires, networkempireframework.com. And if you just click on the link that Mark has here for the community guys, uh, that'll take you to a special offer. Awesome. So let's get stuck in. Let's press pause. So I'm doing this in freestyle. Uh, I don't know anything about this market. I'm going to run this on the the, the UA, UK market or the US market. You'll see now. But there's also a link to the stackable system. And what are, the first thing I want to do is create a blueprint. So I'm going to come over here, blueprint, and I'm going to call this Law Services. So let's just put my name there for now. This is going to be my Law Service Market. Now, these things can be changed later on. We will teach you more about that, but I'm going to keep this very simple. We're just going to start off with, uh, say, America for now. And then come down, I'm going to say create. And that creates my blueprint. I'm going to click on my blueprint. I'm going to move from one to two. I don't have a domain, so I'm just going to add a domain called placeholderwebsite.com. It doesn't exist. If I take this and stick it up there, there shouldn't be nothing. It could be any fake domain. Let's see this. Maybe someone's bought it. <laughs> uh, the reason why I just use a fake one is purely because uh, this is going to be uh, a legal directory. It's because I don't have a domain yet. But I need to draw. So it's going to be the USA. I'm going to select the search engine.com. Google.com, it'll confirm and selection. Um, we've got different labels over here. I'm just going to say this is my money site. WR stands for web ring. So WR will be my money site. And I'm going to say for this domain, I want 250 keywords. Now, because it's new, it's going to bring back nothing. But typically what happens is when we add a domain, it'll do a competitive domain analysis to every domain that we add. So don't just add domains for the sake of it. If it's your domain that you're working on, add it. If it's a top competitor that's, that's relevant, you add it. Otherwise, do keyword research first and uh, in your domain and on your domain and then um, come back. So I'm going to add this domain. You'll notice I'll do a draw. The process is pretty quick. When there is data for the domains, it takes a few minutes. And in those few minutes, we've analyzed the domain. We fetched the top backlinks. We've got the top keywords. And then we sorted everything out. So that sound bite that we get back it tells us exactly what's going on. So I'm down here on p position number two, projects. And as you can see, I can add a domain and I can come back and add another one. For now, I'm just going to go straight into this domain, open up my project, and there's nothing. We have no data. If you run through all the stages after you've added the domain and you click on overview, and it's blank, it just means this domain has not got a footprint at SEMrush. If you click on the DNA report, it comes back like this and there's nothing. If you go view all projects, that should show you all, which is in the global reports. If you go import a backlink, it's blank. It's just there's nothing there at SEMrush. All right. So number four is the same thing, global reports. But we've done nothing yet. So what's cool about DMT is we can jump between key research and adding domains between two and five at any point in time. So I'm going to do keyword research. And what we tell the guys always at Network Empire is... Start off with um, theme is a law provider. It's people that work in industry. Okay, this is just the topic we're talking about. We're going to search on Google.com. The keyword I want to 
get ranked for is law service. Why service? Because we want to have the directory about people that provide services in that industry, that market. Uh, and let's think what we've got here. Um, let's put lawyer for now. So notice we've got law provider, law service, lawyer. That gives us three variants of the same thing, and that helps us create a contextual related relevance. In the USA, I'm going to say if I sell a lead, I don't know what the lead will be. Let's just say we get, uh, um, we sell it for 100 bucks. Let's just make it 50 bucks. And the profit we make for that lead is 25 bucks. This looks at our funnel. I want to tell it to give me the top 25 top 250 keywords that come back for the target that we have over here, law service. So I'm going to click drill. And that's brought me back 500 keywords. On average, there's 2,900 keywords. There's 200,000 on max. Cost per clicks average is six bucks. Maximum, someone's spending $200. And the competitive directory is average. So let's look here. This market is worth nearly ten thousand dollars in traffic a month. So we click at law service. We get our related keywords. We get our phrase match keywords, and we get our competitors. So over here we've got two hundred fifty keywords. You can see lawyers, legal zoom, legal shield. There's all the lawyer related terms. Our theme keywords are all over here. So I take my time and I look at these. These are all the phrase match. You can see what the guy's looking for. So there's a locale probably. Dog laws. Interesting. Look at that whole niche. Dog laws. A thousand a month. You can see how we can make breakaway websites just by doing this. And then we've got our competitors. So let's just click on that. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to come down to website architecture just to show you guys. Click on my silos. I'm going to set the funnel that we went on, load provider. So you'll see it pop up over here. And then we we'll click create framework. What this does is it checks that if we have the keyword in that list, it will allow us to actually go map out the law service silo for us. So let's click refresh and see if it's done takes a few minutes sometimes. If you've waited a few minutes, like five minutes and so, and nothing's happened, then it's not done it. And I'll just show you guys how we can quickly create a manual silo. Click on my global reports. My target keyword is law service. And I click on all theme keywords. Yeah, we can see the chart of where the traffic flows. And here we can see the words used. So I'll check if my keyword exists in this list. If it doesn't exist, it just means that I have to go and manually do it. So I'm just gonna get 600 words. And law services with the S exists. And that's why I've missed it. Okay, so we'll just go law services. I'm on number five. I'm on website architecture and I'm down here on silos. I'm going to go show me all my theme keywords. There's all my legal ones. I'm going to do a quick little filter here. Expand the view. And then there I can see all the keywords that contain law service or services and we can see where the traffic flows. So we could take that keyword and we could just add it as a keyword to our blueprint. So the process I go through at this stage is I will go and I'll drill into keywords like dispute resolution, uh, litigation supports, paralegal services, uh, law practitioners and things like that. And those will give me the different market segments that I'm interested in for the project. 
And then from that, I will go and generate my website blueprints. We'll then do our content architecture, and then we'll go to the website and start building it out. Okay, so I'm just going to pause this and do some drills. And uh, when I get back, uh, we'll move on to website architecture. I'm going to be drilling out a few more keywords. Okay, so uh, what I've done now is I've gone and drilled into lawyers, law practice, law services, litigation, dispute resolution, and paralegal. So just to recap what we've done, we created a blueprint, we added a domain, we came down to keyword research, we drilled into these topics. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is look at the theme clusters and see how the words are all grouped. So they've got a higher relevance, those two. And Yake is still seeing how the money flows through the market through lawyers, litigation support services, alternative dispute resolution, law practices. So what's nice about DMT is we can see where the gaps are, where the money's been spent, where it's not been spent. Dispute management, $35 a click. Wow, okay. So what I do next is once I've done that, I basically run through and I look at, see under lawyers, 57 million a month. Law practice, 26 million. Law services, nine million a month. So we're going to look at law services, and I jump across to the competitors. Yeah, we can see the average domain authority is 52, and these are the websites that are dominating the space. You can see where the traffic's coming in for each domain. What their words are associated with their things, Rocket Lawyer, their brand name, Legal Shield. And if I just took off that filter over there, here yeah, we can see the entire stack of keywords associated with this industry. Okay. So now that I've drilled these keywords, I can go add any of these domains as a project if I wanted to. So the first thing I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna open up all the domain keywords and we've already got all the theme keywords ready. So I'm just gonna refresh this as well. So domainist, we've got 8,000 keywords here that we've mined in like 10 minutes. So if I go type in service, And yes, all our top service-based pages, we can start seeing the pages. If I went to the keywords, so remember this is from domains that we've discovered and grabbed keywords from, and this is from the, the themes, the topics we drilled into. So if I could type in service over here. We can see the little peaks. Law services. Okay, as we're going through here, dispute resolution service, White House black market customer service. There we go. Legal service, Home Shield, Legal Zoom. And yeah, we can see where all the guys are searching for things. Okay, so that's super cool. We spent 15, 20 minutes, and we have a large list of keywords. We have competitors. And if I come back to my projects, and I should go to number three, sorry, I went to two. Yeah, we can see LegalZoom is dominating the market. Then we got Legal Shield, American Bar, Rocket Lawyer, just here. There you can see the keyword cluster and the value of the traffic that they own. If we look at the intent, what is used 125 times? So if there's questions to be answered, what do you think you're going to search on what, right? So if I want to find out questions, what's cool about the Digital Markets Toolbox, we can come to Keyword Research, sorry, Global. Uh, if I go to my domain keywords, 
and I type in watt over here. Here's all the questions. There's the answer. Question, answer, question, answer. Okay. So you can use this for mining. You can use this for... Grabbing all the different type of questions that are being answered. You can create a glossary, a wiki. You can use all the stuff to your advantage. Okay. But the point I'm trying to make here is we spent 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, and we've already got so much intel about what this market wants. People want to know what things are. They want to know how to do. They're looking for free. What's the best? What they need? They're talking about software, training. And so we go around, we start understanding the intent of the legal market. Now we can look at the intent around the domain or the intent around the keywords. So I'm going to click on the global domain intent and that's going to take us to our global reports and bring us right down to the domain and then the theme keywords. Now we're on global domain intent and notice that it's empty. And that is because the domain we've added has no value. Okay, there's nothing there. There's no footprint online. So what we'll do is we'll just drop down to the keyword theme intent because what did we do? We did keyword research. We've not added domains yet. And here we can see all the different keywords that come to the top. So we can filter by different words. So if I go type service, now I can see all the keywords that have service in them. And because some advanced columns over here that I'll speak about in another video. Here yeah, dispute, dispute resolutions, free legal services, free attorney services, interesting the whole animal section has popped above here. All right, so let's go to the website architecture, the silos, and I know I'm on the clock now, we're on 17 minutes. Let me go do a, the, the build. So what we did is we created a blueprint. In our blueprint, we added one domain called placeholder website. That brought us to this page. There was nothing when we started. We dropped down to the keyword research module and we did our keyword research. We drill into lawyers, law practice, law service, litigation support, dispute resolution, and paralegal. We drill into all of those. We spent our time going through all the reports and looking at all the results. Next, we're going to map out a framework. So what I'll do is I'll come to six website architecture and I'll click create website framework. And as you can see, this is run now, and it's generated a silo architecture for us. That happened much faster than I expected. So I'm going to start with lawyers, and I'm going to set this funnel. And when we drilled into lawyers, we said we're getting $50 for a lead, and the profit we're making was $25 after expenses, and it's the US market. On each of these, we have got different funnels set, and here we can see potentially how much traffic flows, and where we can potentially make money. So under lawyers and paralegal, that's where the richest search is. Okay, so on website architecture, I can go down to categories now and look at where the traffic flows in this market. So we've taken 8,000 keywords and we've narrowed them right down to these keywords that contain the traffic. Now what we can do is we can go and actually start working and fleshing out these themes. So what I'm going to show you quickly is how we can do this. So I've, I'm on categories and over here. On website architecture and I want to go do dispute resolution so I'm going to click on that I'm going to change my funnel and what I can do now is I can start adding theme keywords that are all specifically related to dispute resolution so I click on theme keywords what happens now is because that's got orange I can go and add custom keywords to this So we can say alternative, we can say the conflict, centers we can use. And I'll just take it from over there and add that. I click add. And when I get back up to the top of the page, it's going to add all of those to that silo for me. 
And what you can see there, we just created a dispute resolution silo. So um, what we do at this stage is we can go and whittle down all the important thing. I don't know what that is there, but we can look deep into it. Here we've got all our law services, legal zoom, legal zoom. So if it's got double, we can just go and delete the stuff we don't want. Legal shield, we can talk about those guys. Yes, law shield. So zoom again is a duplication. What I do now is I just whittle down all the stuff that I want for my blueprint. And every time we can click on either adding custom or manually adding keywords that we can customize as well over here by adding it to the blueprint. Or we can go back to silo, we can create an automated framework, which it did. And that also saves us a lot of time. So instead of us trying to choose keywords from a list, if the root keyword that we drilled into exists within the list, it will build it out for us. So I'll come back to my categories. I'm going to quickly just thin this out and get it prepped and ready for building out this site. All right. So what I've done now, guys, is I've come into the website architecture. I've added a few custom keywords. The way I did it was I essentially selected the parent keyword, set the funnel, and then I was using the funnel theme that I drilled into to put the keywords underneath that the system that we find. So um, if I went and typed lawyers now, let's just actually go to uh, paralegal service and I click set product. That would change the funnel. And if I clicked on the theme keyword there, it would show me all the paralegal services keywords list over here. And I can cherry pick where the traffic is and what I want to target. Okay. So for this legal directory, we've highlighted the areas that have all the content and topics that we're going to talk about. What does that do? It gives us contextual relevance. It gives us a lot of verbiage on the site that's related to the topic. And it also gives us more advertising space. But more importantly, um, it just helps the magic page rank much better because of how the website architecture silos help support this. So if we go back to our silo level, Let's look at this journey we followed. We came in and we created a blueprint. We added a fake domain. We came down to keyword research. We did keyword research at number five. We drawn to lawyers, law practice, law service, litigation, dispute, resolution, paralegal. These are just keywords that we picked up looking at uh, legal sites online that are ranking. We came out to website architecture created uh, create a website framework we clicked that orange button this went in mind and quickly did a framework for us if we go to website architecture and go to level two categories we ended up with dispute resolution alternative dispute resolution a center that center could essentially come out we know that it's got a thousand words uh, searches on it but this could essentially become part of the magic page where we have a list of all the centers in specific locales in our pitch. Okay, so what is online dispute, the careers, all the lawyer types. There's all the lawyer types as well that we can have, different types of lawyers that do their jobs, litigation support, solutions, specialists, and then paralegals. What must paralegals do? What programs are available? So we just mine for literally 10, 20 minutes and we have all of this done. So the next thing we're going to do in our production line is go to stage seven, go back to the silos. I'm going to click on lawyers. And then what we do in DMT is we simply click on analyze SERP landscape. And this will go mine for 10, 15 minutes depending on what we got there. And it's going to go fetch us what's going on in the SERPs, what's related. Yeah, you can start seeing all the questions that are coming forward for our content editor already from our mining. So we how what these are the top what questions yeah we can see buyers intent best lawyers cheap see the divorce ones are all cheap so can you see how we can start seeing uh, our audience evolving in ahead as we're going through these things so i'm going to pause this video this is going to run for probably five or ten minutes and then when i get back uh, we'll have had an analysis done on all these pages and then we can actually go to the next stage which is developing our content templates. So very rapidly, literally within 30 minutes, I've got 10,000 keywords. My keywords are all sorted. 
they're all in groups. I can go look at the domains. I can drill deeper into domains if I want to. I've got all the top topics that's associated with the legal industry. Now I can go build a website talking about a specific law service. I can go build a website just about paralegals if I wanted to. And it's just a matter of me deleting what I don't want and then when I'm on WordPress, leaving what I do want and then filling out the content, installing Magic Page, creating the directory or creating the geotargeted pages for that, that service in that area. And all we've done is we've done one blueprint. So for one blueprint, we can create many Magic Page websites. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, click on this button over here. What happens is the page pops out while it's mining and that allows you to go back and start fiddling around over here in your silo architecture. You can go and tweak things. Now, if you click on any of the edit buttons over here, you can come in and change any of the settings that's been created. Now, notice that we've got these pops done for you. This is when we generate the blueprint. It will just put the keywords in. I'll go to a different one and show you something else. Let's look at... Um, Litigation support. So we're litigation support, legal support. And that's why I say when we change up the variants, then we we can um, we can then uh, start prepping up for our SEO that's inside our blueprints. Um, another thing I wanted to show you guys is make sure that your keyword that you want to rank isn't got a, a minus in it like that. Okay. Okay. So that draws run. Um, I'm going to click on silos and uh, look at the lawyers and when we analyze the SERP result what it does for us is it brings back all these sound bites of information which we can now look closely at specifically toward the page so the objective of this website here is to generate leads for lawyers right and the way we want to go about doing this is building a directory utilizing the magic page pages in the process, we went and drilled the keywords. We mapped out the website architecture. Now we're on the content architecture. And what you can see here is I'm on lawyers. And if I look at the search result, I can see local packs, people asking questions, organic, top stories, and then organic again. Over here, we can see what's used on the page. Over here, we can see what's used across all the search features that we've discovered. So we've got local packs, people are asking 65 questions. There's over 1,700 resu results, 12 ads, 141 related keywords, bar feature snippets, images are important for the carousels. We've got 19 top stories. There's image boxes, there's answer boxes, there's videos, and Twitter is popping up in these results. So notice down here, we've got this thing called page DNA, and there's nothing over here yet. Page DNA works with the filters here and these parameters. And this is where we start with our content templates. We look for keywords between these ranges with a cost per click. And I want to click on this button here, let this run, and this will run across our entire blueprint and sort out all the keywords for us. Now, a quick little hack to see what's going on here is we can come into our global reports and we can open up our theme keywords. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to take this down a bit. And so give me all the keywords that have more than 300 searches a month. Uh, for my H1s and for my H2s, I'll take that down to 50. And I'm going to say generate. Okay. What that's going to do is going to go create our spin tags, our hashtags, and so we find the top keywords, which we then can come and fine tune over here on our little whiteboards and then integrate them into our content templates. From that content template, we'll then export it out into WordPress, which we have over here. We'll install Magic Page, and then we'll create our Magic Page page, set that up, and then create our templates using Elementor. And that's it. So we'll let this run. And when I get back, that should take about five minutes, we'll carry on with this process. But if you look at what we've done, in the last hour, I've nearly got my framework for my, my uh, law directory almost prepped and ready to, to go live. Okay, so that's the 
keyword DNA generated for us and let's have a look at what we've got so I'm looking at lawyers this is our first silo and as we go down we can see we've got the lawyers so we can just start filling and optimizing our meta titles over here but here on the page DNA you can start seeing lawyers lawyers near me how much do lawyers make pro bono lawyers types of lawyers civil lawyers near me pro bono super lawyers how much do they make a year and then there's the braid so inside here yeah, i copy whatever i'm working on and i stick them in and i save them and every time i come back to a legal project in a specific country i come back to my market blueprint and i carry on working from there and build what i need so in this close to an hour we've essentially built out our entire site mapped out what we are interested in do we need to use every single one? No, we don't. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create a custom silo for the lawyers. Uh, let's just say lawyers. I'm going to set my funnel. Now I'm here on number six, website architecture. I'm going to create my magic page keyword and I'm just going to use services. So um, I'm just going to go services and that will become my silo for now for my magic page. I'll take this one, yeah. Okay. Search volume. This is say a thousand. Don't know what it is. You'll say cost per click is one dollar. We can update that later. Competing pages. This is put a million in. And I'll say save custom keyword. Now you'll see my services keyword is over there. So if I come down to content architecture and my silos. I click on my services. You see, I got the target here. We really got a legal services. That's law services. So let's go do legal services here. I got legal. That's the keyword I want to target. I'm going to save that. And I'm going to quickly go grab that information. All right, okay, so now we've generated all our pages. We've created our services page. This services page will now become my magic page. And just to remind me, I'm going to put a little note here in my title. And I'm going to put it in uh, brackets and I'll type the magic page. Uh, silo, let's just do that. Okay, I'm going to save this. and that's me prepared okay so we've got our dna braid we ran it so we can see legal services we can see the kansas is important colorado paralegals indiana all the places right there we have it over there so what i want to quickly do is show you in preparation of what i do for magic page i come in here and i just copy the spin tax. Stick it just so I can work with it. So you see the towns. So there's legal service. I'm just going to put my magic page short codes in over here and go city. And then we've got a duplication over here. You can pull that one out. Legal services, city legal services, city legal services. So now I already sort of see that the tokens used in the front mainly. So we'll pull that one out there. Corporation legal services near me, para legal services near me, ABC legal services. So I'm just going to take this out and call this brand name. And If you work with short codes or your X fields, you start pre planning what you want to stick in over here. So I go through each one of my templates and I start working on my titles, my descriptions, my headlines, and then the article is where I start working on the headers, right? The H1s, the H2s, the H3s. So here's my H1. 
So I'm going to have an H2. And for every H2, we're going to have like two or three H3s. Let's just say three. So when I look at the services page, I'm going to save that. Show me the top 10 results. Obviously, we've got nothing over here, right? So, what I'll do is I'll go to global and go to my domain keywords and I'll open that in a new tab and my theme keywords in a new tab. This gives me the keyword lists. And I, I remembered that the intent was what and how was second. Okay, and it's case sensitive as well. Let's look at these how questions. So there's our theme, the speed resolution, how arbitration acts helpful. So how to start a law firm, how to start your own law firm, that's for the practice one. How much do lawyers make? How much do they make in a year? That's in the lawyer's theme. Mitigation. How to become a specialist. How long does it take? And then we can find all the questions. All right. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start building out this template for this magic page. And I'm going to open up this framework here, the blueprint. And when I do that, what this gives me is an outline of all the pages we have mapped out. So there we can see it's the law services and there we can see the keywords that have been discovered and what people are looking for. Yeah, we've got dispute resolution, alternative dispute resolution, resolution, centers, definition, what is. So I spend my time and I just work on each page and I start adding in what are the big questions. All right. So in the next video, I'm going to come back and show you how I've mapped out this magic page template utilizing the information I've found in DMT through my templates, through the blueprint outline. And if you come to the top here, we can also access what's been found. All right. So in the next video, I'll come back and show you when we get ready to export. Okay. So what we're going to do now is just take a step back. Um, and here's the reality of when we build websites. There's always chopping and changing. There's always looking at new ideas, finding new people who compete in the market, looking at what they're doing, seeing it's better than making modifications. That's okay, guys. And this is the whole point of Digital Marketers Toolbox, is allowing us to freely move through things very fast. So in this section, I've gone and changed a few things, and I'm going to show you what I've done. And before I do that, um, the next thing I want to talk to you guys about is, look, it costs you basically nothing to launch a new business idea today, to put a few pages together, to put it out there. Sometimes you're going to come across words where there's high competition, but always keep this comfort in the back of your mind. All the data that gets presented is typically geographically zoned and filtered for that area. So if you're in Africa, you'll get African news. If you're in Europe, you get European news. If you're in America, you get American news. If you're in Australia, Australian news. If you go down to Melbourne, the geographical relevance starts becoming specific to where you're zoned. So it's either your ISP, your internet service provider, if you're on a desktop machine, that's behind a corporate network or a home network, okay? Or by your mobile device, where you're walking around. They can triangulate you to like, like literally three meters, if you think about it, in re re relativeness. So if you're walking, they can see how fast you're traveling, and they'll show you stuff that is closer to near you if you do a search. Have fun with your phone and do this, and just do a search and see. If you're in a car and you're driving in the area, the zone becomes a bit bigger. And what you'll notice in Google My Business is things move up and down. So this shows us we're working in a dynamic environment. So fortune favors the brave. We can come up with an idea, 
we can put a few people together, we can start a business with literally nothing. And in the Foxhole Chronicles, in our members area at Network Empire, we actually show this guy, Bob's adventure, where he does this. So what I want to encourage you guys to do is to actually break out the frame. Everybody limits the ability to create because they have a fear that they're going to do something wrong and it's going to annoy Google. Google is one network. You have Yahoo, you have Bing, you have DuckDuckGo. There's many other people that totally bypass you, uh, YouTube and any of these other social platforms and create apps that speak to a specific audience that wants specific types of answers to solve their problems during the day. So stop overthinking the frame. Rather set yourself free and give yourself the freedom to be able to create anything that you want that can service the needs of that specific audience. So with that said, you the architect, you have the power to create any kind of marketing media type that drives traffic to your online business. With Network Empire Stackable System, we are always at the center and whatever we publish out there points back to us. And this is why we use website silo architecture. It helps us structure the business's goals, their needs, and important pages online that are public. And if we're doing paid advertising, we're sending people from a specific location to a non-indexable page. Now when we're doing geographical marketing, where we're doing services either within or around an area, we use Magic Page to help us do this. So for this project, we want to do lead generation for uh, lawyers in the USA, and we've drilled into a few areas in digital uh, in digital marketing to toolbox to get us to where we need to be. So I'm going to start doing the real world build now and I'll just run you through the process of what I'm doing. Coming back again, we're doing the SEO stackable system. We can use the video silo plugin to import the XML from digital marketers toolbox. Digital marketers toolbox, we've drilled into a few markets and we've mapped out the most important pages and we're going to see what they are and we're going to use magic page in this video and we're going to actually build the template and I'll show you how I do this using digital marketers toolbox okay so let's get stuck in right so we are now on content architecture we've mapped out the website themes we've chosen find a lawyer as our magic page template and I've basically come down I'm on the silo level at stage 7 of the production line content architecture and I've selected find a lawyer what that has done is we've gone and scanned the web by clicking analyze SERP landscape and then we generated the contents keyword DNA what this does is this scans the the search results gets us information back so we can see what's working and then the content keyword DNA gives us all the important keywords that we should use within our template as we start mapping it out. So what you'll notice here, the MTP stands for Magic Page Template. That'll get deleted away. But I've started mapping out my title for my page. I've not done my description yet. I've started working my first H1. And then I've broken down the article into sections. Now, when I build my content templates in DMT, I'm always building out what is the way to stack the story. So you can see here we've got section one, attention, section two, interest, section three, desire, section four, call to action, section five, we can just call this extras, whatever we want it to be. But the idea is that either at the first point, we catch them with the attention or with the call to action. By the time they get the call to action, we should have given them enough information to allow them to get what they need to create a transaction. So if a person is looking for a lawyer in a location, potentially they might just click on the location link and they'll move down. If they're looking for one in the state, they might click on that. If they're looking for a specific type of service from our drop down menu, we can create a list of menus and services that I've done over here so now I've gone through this I've gone online and I've looked what other different types of things that people do and I discovered that there's 97 different segments of the legal market where people have interest so for this one year we're essentially just looking for the best lawyer it's still broad we haven't refined this but remember we can always inject at any point in time in our content template specific specialist fields if we wanted to because remember with our digital marketing blueprint we can always come back and change things so 
I can come in here and create a short code with a specialty and I can have the specialties tumble out there, but I'll speak about more of that later because that's when we use our X codes and our short codes. But for now, what I've done is I've come through here in my filters. I said, show me the top 10. I start with the search results. I noticed that there's a local pack, which means I should have a Google My Business if I'm a local lawyer or if the site's for a local lawyer. If we're building a directory type of site, then we don't need that, but it's good to be aware of that. There's organic results and then questions and then organic. So this tells me this is an information stack. All these pages that are stacked from position number one to 100, well, this is the top 30 only, are mainly all information based. And we can see this over here, 99 organic, three local, people asking three questions and images. However, across the entire blueprint, when I look at the entire blueprint, there's 26 ads, 114 local ads, there's 168 questions that need adding, questions that need answering, and uh, we can see what's related, feature snippets, top stories, images, answer boxes, we've got the whole stack over here. So from this, we can see we're going to answer questions and we've got 168 pages we potentially can create across our site for our blog. So what are those questions? So as we're moving down the stack, we find that people are find, looking for finding a lawyer, how to find attorneys by specialty, and they're looking for listings. Okay, so this is what we're building. So instead of directory, let's just say listing because that's a better, ma a better uh, mix. So can you see how, as I'm coming along, I'm just tweaking out. Let's call this listing. Okay. So as we work on this as well, we can use conditional logic, um, which we'll do in Magic Page, to show how we can embed, the, if it's a specific town and we've got um, directory listings for that, we can embed those in at those stages. So. I'm going to quickly get out the questions. Online people asking, how do I find the best lawyer for my situation? I'm actually going to take that. Motivational legal issue. I'll stick that. And I'm just going to embed that question right in there. Okay. And if we receive more questions, we can come to our filters and we can say, show me 100. And that'll go deep, deeper down. And then we can start seeing all the questions that have come back. So we're on who, so we go to how. And as we hover over, we can see that that one question, how do you find a lawyer, has a thousand searches. So now I can just take this one here. And I'll stick you in there. So if you want to sue someone, that's probably the next big question. We could take that and make that question too, and make it a Q and A. So can you see how I'm just use DMT to unlock a market in minutes? On a contingency in my area, on my wall, small claims small business near me florida so we can just do the next one we say uh who work on a contingency that could be for business or for anyone personally i think it's a great question car area and a wall everyone's gonna die sometime it's 40 searches nah too little those are all low hanging fruit, and we'll just take a white maybe. See what we've got here. Okay, that's fine. So we can actually squeeze another one. You've got extra space here. But can you see how we just discovered questions that have search volume that are relevant to what people are doing? 
okay, for their situation. So we just need to advise them on how to use the tool the best or these magic pages the best to find the lawyer that they want to speak to. So I'm going to click Save. I'm going to come down and look at the H2s. I'm going to grab the spin text here. And I'm going to quickly clean this up and make a master on this one. I'm a little whiteboard. So let's see what we have here. So find a lawyer. Where do you find a lawyer? Where do you find a lawyer in SD? So I'm going to come back and just say I want a zip. Let's copy that and stick that in there. Put that in here. Don't need that one. State. Actually, this is county. That's probably better. And we can create multiple of these variants. Um, let me come back here and stick that in. Find a lawyer in. The county. www.finallawyer.com We'll skip that. Skip that. Find a free consultant. Okay, that's cool. So we'll just save that as well. So there I've got the basics of this. I can come and change and add multiple of these in my whiteboard and I can save them. So as I'm working, I can grab these combinations and I can put them into certain parts of the website. So here we've got the, what people are looking for online. How to find attorney by specialty, lawyers directories, free lawyer directory, listings, find a lawyer near me, find a lawyer in city. Sorry. We'll just do that quickly. Find a lawyer, free consultation, find a lawyer by name, state bar, Texas. We don't need that, so we'll take that out. And we're going to save that over there. Okay, so let me refresh this page. And in literally 10 or 15 minutes, I've got the structure of how I want my page to sort of flow and run. I've been building this with a framework, which we call the Persuasion Stacking Framework, and that helps us lead the customer into what they need to do. So this page that we're targeting is how to find a lawyer. So obviously we need to tell them how to find a lawyer for a lawsuit, for accident. And these could be multiple things that we could have in here, depending on the area it is. And these type five questions can start answering conditional questions depending on what type of market you enter into or market segment, like I showed you in the list of years. So if we went into business law or we went into cannabis law or uh, child support law or into constitutional law, what else have we got here? DUR, DWR, whatever it is, we can now come back very easily and customize this core idea that we have this mapped out as a content template and we can redeploy it later on. So next time we come to build another website, it's not like we're duplicating this, we're just changing this and making it different, answering different questions. And all we're focusing is on this content template, we then export out and we build. So in the next section, we're going to look, jump across to WordPress and we're going to bring this in and see what happens.